But we begin with that breaking news we mentioned as the search for a missing deputy chief with the Seattle Fire Department continues right now in eastern Washington. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Rose. I'm Aliana Gomez. Police say Jay Schreckengoss went hunting just north of Highway 410 in Cliffdale yesterday morning, and that's in Yakima County. Now, when he didn't return to his cabin at the Squaw Rock Resort in the Kittitas County town of Natchez, his family reported him missing. Both counties are working together on the search with about 50 people trying to find find him right now. Fox 13's Jennifer Lee live now at the Seattle Fire Department. So Jennifer, what is the latest on Chief Schreckengast? Hey, David and Aliana, there are many people who are very concerned for Jay Schreckengast and many are searching for him at this hour. He's a deputy fire chief here at the Seattle Fire Department, and we're hearing as many as 50 people are helping with this search right now. So police say he was hunting in a remote area of Cliffdale when he disappeared. This is just north of Natchez in eastern Washington. Authorities say Schreckengast left the Squaw Rock Resort Tuesday morning to go day hunting and didn't come back. His family went looking for him and when he stopped responding to texts, it was soon after that they, that they reported him missing. This was posted by his daughter to Facebook, hoping to get others to join in the search. Officials say Shrekengas's car was located north of Highway 410. The area is close to Yakima County, but it is in Kittitas County. The Seattle Fire Department giving us the statement saying, quote, we are deeply saddened about this news and holding Jay and his family close in our hearts and are hopeful for positive news that he will be found safe. And deputies tell us Shreckengast has the proper clothing, food, water, a rifle, backpack, and maps. Seattle Fire has also told Fox 13 that a group of Seattle firefighters have headed east to assist local authorities with this search. We're waiting for another update from the Seattle Fire Department and also over in eastern Washington. We have a crew that is positioned in that area and will bring you updates throughout this night. For now, reporting live in Seattle, Jennifer Lee, Fox 13 News. Jennifer, thank you so much. And that crew she mentioned is Q13, uh, is, uh, Fox 13 News reporter Steve Kiggins. Steve is in Kittitas County, several miles from where the search is ongoing. Steve, what's the latest there as they ramp up the search to find this deputy chief? Yeah, well, the good news is that the temperature and the weather is kind of probably going to be playing a pretty good role in this. It's not terribly cold and uh, the precipitation isn't really coming down very heavy. Just to give you a clue about where we are at, we are near where 410 meets um, SR12, and where the search is happening is up this highway. We're, we're told that Jay Schreckengast at this hour, you know, he, he was out here, like you had mentioned, he was out here hunting. Police say he was out here hunting in a, in a uh, very remote area out here in the wilderness, and this is obviously happening just to the north and to the west of Natchez. Now authorities say that Shrekengast left the Squaw Rock Resort yesterday morning. He was planning to go day hunting, but he didn't return. His family went to look for him when he stopped responding to text messages. And I'll tell you, communication out here is very difficult, very challenging. Connectivity is obviously a big issue unless you've got a two-way radio. Uh, now this this post, we have learned that he had po that his daughter had posted up on Facebook, on social media, hoping to get others to join in this search. It says officials say Schreckengast's car was located north of Highway 410. It's in an area that's close to Yakima County, but it also hugs very closely to the line of Kittitas County. Now, the Seattle Fire Department told us in a statement that we are deeply saddened about this news, and they're holding Jay and his family close in their hearts, and they're hopeful for positive news that he will be found safe. So we have also learned that a very large group of Seattle firefighters are out here in the wilderness also searching for this Seattle firefighter. It's still very much an ongoing search and the dynamics are changing. But as we learn more information out here on the scene, we sure to bring it to you as soon as we can. We're live near Natchez. Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News. All right.